Hi guys, my name is Mila, welcome back. Thursday equals a new season. Me and my crew, we finished the solid 8th position and we got this badass truck. Hope you guys all got this truck as well. By the way, I know I said in my last video that it would run a 7.1 to 7.2, but according to some people, it has been nerfed to a 7.4 to 7.6. There's no exact time on it, but after all, it's still one of the fastest cars in game you can get for free. Before I want to start talking about the current season, heads up for what happened this afternoon with the band wave. So this morning, well for me it was morning, a fake crew called Dreamville, not the real one, decided to act stupid and made 400 million RP. This triggered a huge ban wave and took the calculations a little bit longer. However, they didn't ban all the people who actually deserved it. The people who finished top 2, so Elite Outlaws and Fear the Outlaws, both hacked their way to the podium. And we got proof of that. First, the obvious one. 185 million over 30 people is 6.1 million a person, that is 700k plus a person more than mathematically as possible. The other one on the other hand is a little bit more interesting. 3 minutes they were able to make 10 million crew RP, and like that they got to 167 million RP, which is mathematically also not possible with daily RP caps. Sadly, these cheaters didn't get banned. So if you count these out, we would have finished the solid 6th place. All of the crew did an amazing job, with 8 people going over 5 million RP and one guy just missing out by 100 points. Also shout out again to my man Kratos hitting 4 million RP on Android, this is just insane. I did 3.4 million myself and this was my second best season ever and I came in 18th place, so we were literally on fire. This season we will take a little bit slow and save up some gold. Now the rent is over, I can finally get on about the new season. For season number 37, so this one, the milestone car will be the SM Moto 177. It's a car that has been in the files for a while, and if you've seen my video about possible Tempest 3 and Tempest 4 cars, you will have seen this car already. It was supposed to be a Tempest 3 car driven by tier 5 boss John Harkness, just like the RX-7 would have been Tempest 3 for tier 3 boss Peter. For some reason they decided to change these, making them milestone cars, so that opens doors to new cars being added for those future challenges. The season price for top 3 will be in dark blue, and for the milestone, if my eyes are correct, will be a darker red or maybe greyish like brown. The car maxed out should run at 8.5, it's not the fastest one but nonetheless a good looking car. The prestige car, so the car that will kick off with a high drop rate tomorrow, will be the Audi R8 V10 Coupe, the newest edition. A 4 star car, which in theory should be easier to pull compared to the last 2 seasons. Keep in mind to save your keys the moment you get it or if you already have it, to raise your chance for the season after it. If you want to know if you have stage 6 spots for this car already, go to your Audi screen and then it's the third one in the row, so the one with the bigger red square. Maxed out it's slightly faster than yes, and clocking an 8.4 maxed out. Other big thing that will happen this season is the 70th anniversary 488 Spy that will launch this Saturday. But if you don't want to spend any money on the game, there will also be a free event for the people who have the 650s Liberty Walk, as there will be a Golden Cup next weekend. If you don't have it yet, no worries, there will also be a 20 drop rate alongside of it on the gold crate. There you can win this, in my opinion kinda ugly, purple one, but also this awesome looking wannabe P1 GTR that I'll definitely be going for in my gold spins. But of course the newest update is what most people are talking about. It's a slow enrollment of the update, meaning only a couple of Android players got it so far, and we will all follow getting it in the upcoming two weeks. When exactly, I can't give a day, but definitely before Wednesday in two weeks time. I'll discuss three things about this update. To start off Tempest 3, someone on Facebook showed a picture that in the files the newest Elite license is ready, and that means Tempest 3 is just around the corner. But, Dev says in livestream that it would be early 2018, so we still have no clue when it will happen. But all I know is I'm slightly getting hyped already. Second off, new cars. People who have the update already have shown that 4 new cars are being added. 3 of them being season cars, aka milestone cars, and only 1 prestige car. Meaning they are hiding cars maybe, or we will see some cars being repeated in the silver crates most likely. That will put Ruggiero etc in the higher drop rates. The 3 season cars, ranked from least awesome to most awesome in my opinion, are the BAC Mono, or how most people remember it as this car, the Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk, a nice wide body V12, sadly only the top 3 of that season will actually get the car with a big wing, on the other hand they have to stick through that KSI Storm livery, which in my opinion is kinda hideous. We will also get the regular one with the smaller wing though. And third but by far my favourite is the Plymouth Barracuda Torque by Weaver Customs. A 1970 Cuda powered by a 1500 horsepower diesel engine, getting its nickname from the 3000 foot pound of torque that it produces. The only milestone one that has been given to us is this AC Schnitzer 2 Sport. This is probably just gonna use BMW parts, so it'll be easy to max out anyways. But that is not the last thing. In the files they have found two new Fate of the Furious cars, and these are not the regular ones. First off, Laddie's Buggy, a rally fighter produced by Local Motors, an American based company, so I don't know if that means we will see a new manufacturer, or if they will take over fusion parts from another company. But what we do know is that the other car will actually be using Dodge Fusion parts and it will be Dom's Ice Charger. It won't be named after Dom probably as Natural Motion still doesn't have the rights to his name, but I still hope it won't be called Hobbs again. Right now you guys are probably thinking these cars aren't meant for regular roads but on ice, and yes you are right. They will actually add an Alaskan track for this event to race these cars on. Wondering what this will bring and definitely got me curious. 
About the not returning to the garage after the race and the AR mode for iOS, I have no idea, but the devs said it should be coming out soon, so hopefully it will come with a big update soon. If you're ready for Tempest 3, let me know in the comments below which cars you will probably be using to beat the next set of bosses. If you have yet for hot news and all that stuff, follow me on Twitter, at milicsr2. Like, I posted two or three days ago already pictures of this Elite License 3 and also the new cars being added, so yeah, just follow me there for the latest news. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, that helps me a lot. Subscribe for more. My name is Miller, see you around and keep racing.